and welcome to today's episode of The Property Pod. My name's Libby and today I'm joined by Charlotte from our auctions team. Thanks so much for coming on. You're welcome. And today we're going to discuss buying and selling property at auction. So Charlotte, what are the benefits to buying property at auction? So um, buying properties at auctions, um, you can get cheaper properties. Uh, there's a fixed time scale when it comes to auctions as well. Normally these are between 20 and 28 days. Uh, So that that gives you more certainty in the transaction because you know when it's going to complete. Um, Once that hammer falls on the day of complete, uh, the day of the auction, um, the deal is done um, and you will therefore not get any delays in um, chains or people pulling out or anything like that. Once that hammer falls, that's it. You're then contractually bound to purchase that property. Mm -hmm. Um, And what are the benefits to selling a property at auction? So again, certainty of the sale as once the hammer falls, that's it. Um, The contract is in place and that will set the final completion date. Um, Normally that is within 20 to 28 days. It can be agreed. Otherwise, this can be a shorter time or a longer time, depending on the needs of both you as the seller and a potential buyer. Um, You can find the right buyers for unusual or difficult properties to market. And the bidding process may push up the price of the property, uh, especially if you get in some buyers get into a bid and more, they'll um, just like to be the highest bidder. So they'll just keep going and going. So the price will go up. Mm -hmm. And how fast can you get a review done on the legal pack? So our normal service with the legal packs um, for the reviews is 72 hours. However, we do offer a 24 hour service, but there is a premium to pay for that. Um, as we would have to drop all our other work to get that out to you. Um, but it can be done in 20, 24 hours, but generally a 72. The, the longer we have, the better, really, to be able to go through it all for you. Mm-hmm. And how much work is involved if I were to buy through a company at auction? Um, buying um, as a company through auction, uh, we would need to carry out additional AML checks, so we would need to do identity checks on not only the company, but the directors and the shareholders of that company as well. Um, we would also need to carry out the source of funds um, checks on the company, where the, where the funds are coming from um, and how they have been accumulated as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and how long does it take to buy property at auction? This depends on the type of auction. Uh, like I said, if it's a normal auction, generally it's um, 20 working days or 28 days to a completion. This can be rearranged between the seller and the buyer at the time. We have had in instances where it has been 14 days to completion. If it was a modern auction process, um, they work a little bit differently. There's a 56 day deadline for completion, but you would need to exchange contracts within 28 days. Okay. And um, how do I prepare my property for being sold at auction? So you would need to instruct a specific auction um, house agent to deal with the sale of the property. Um, Make sure that the property is as clean as it possibly can be. Um, Declutter any space and make sure that it's ready for um, pictures to be taken to put in marketing material for the property and for any potential buyers that may come round to view the property as well. So just make sure it's as sparkling as it can be. <laughs> <laughs> and what is a bridging loan and what's the difference between that and a mortgage and how do you get one? So bridging loans are generally short term loans um, for properties. They're generally around a 12 month term. So you would need to make sure that you have the funds in place to repay that loan at the 12 month period. Uh, This can vary depending on the bridging loan, um, but they generally have a higher interest rate as well. Um, Nine times out of 10, the the payments for the bridging loan are rolled up. So you don't pay the monthly payments, but this is added on to your loan as well. So at the end of the term, you'll not only be paying what you borrowed, but also the interest on that as well. So you'd need to make sure that you have in place how you are going to pay that loan off within that 12 month period. Mm -hmm. Whereas with 
general mortgages, they're generally for a longer period of time, say 30 years, um, so the interest rates will therefore be lower. Okay. And do you have any tips for people that are looking to buy a property at auction for the first time? Yes. Get a review done of the legal pack. <laughs> um, make sure that you instruct a auction solicitor to go through the legal pack before you bid um, on the property at the auction because there may be things in the pack that you wouldn't necessarily pick up on t- problems with title deeds um, special conditions that could mean that you have to do something before completion um, or additional costs um, that may be involved in that um, make sure you get your finances in order um, so that you have those in place ready to purchase the property because once that hammer goes down that's it you're contractually bound to buy that property um set a budget of what you would pay for the property and stick to it try not to get into a bidding war with somebody because you'll end up spending or buying a property for way over the asking price um do your research of the local area and the local property market to give you a rough idea of what the houses are worth in that area especially if you're buying in a different area to where you live for instance and are there any extra costs involved in buying or selling property at auction so if you are selling a property at auction um generally auction houses would like you to have um the searches included in the auction pack so that would be an initial outlay you can get this reimbursed by the buyer so we could put a um, condition in the special conditions that the buyer is to reimburse you for those fees Um, if it was a leasehold property and you had to have a leaseholders pack or a management information pack again um, that would be an initial outlay um, but you can get that reimbursed Mm -hmm. by um, any potential buyers Um, if you're a buyer of an auction property there could be premiums included in the special conditions of sale. Um, for instance, paying legal fees, paying search fees and agents fees, etc. They can be sometimes hidden within the special conditions. For instance, they'll, it'll be written in words rather than in numbers. Um, so make sure that you really read the special conditions as sometimes they can be quite hard to spot. Mm. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you so much for coming on today. That's great to have you. You're welcome. And for all you guys at home, if you did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.